Hey, Mary, back with another video. It is 7.09. I just got out of the shower, and I'm glad I did, you know. Um, I always feel much better after shower, and once I was in that shower, you know, I was thinking again. So I wanted to call this video White Entanglements and Psychobabble. Um, now, by being referring to it as this video as White Entanglements and um, Psychobabble, it is in no way an offense or strike against the white race. But it's my situation. See now, <clears throat> basically, it, from my perspective, it seems as though because I was in um, I was in a relationship with Joel Graham, um, his family, you know, immediately somehow or another seemed respectable and um, worthy of taking uh, people taking instructions from them. Now, I'm not going to mention them by names because I'm not interested in bringing up any issues. But I don't want those entanglements, period, okay? Um, that doesn't mean I don't want white friends or I don't want white associates, if that's not what I'm saying. But I am saying that it is in this situation because people let racism blind them. Um, they um, basically defended what I consider to be um, perverted, disgusting people. But is is that going to paint the picture, or does that paint? Does it paint the picture of white people? Does it mean that white people favor perversion and people who basically lie over somebody who is honest and black? Makes you wonder, doesn't it? So anyway, the psychobabble comes from the uh, religious angle and the mumbo jumbo and all the bullshit gossip that surrounded me. Um. Which obviously was bullshit, right? But, um, yeah, so, you know, I'm, I'm looking at things differently in my life. And, um, you know, it's not to say that um, that I feel as though what I did was not wrong. I mean, obviously, you should never lie like that or play tricks on people or be silly or, or anything like that. You know, I was young, younger at the time, and I didn't never really thought that I was going to be in a relationship. Really, I didn't, you know, but things turned out the way that they did. That doesn't mean it was right. Was it silly? Yeah, probably. Mm. But it's over now, and I'm glad. But I will say that, um, you know, um, that it's so eye-opening when I think about how racism really is and how prevalent it is in this country, you know. Um, it's very, very prevalent and very, it's just so obvious to me. And then also um, ignorance of people, um, just everything, all the inequities in, in the existence among humankind. I mean, it's just what I was not necessarily blinded to, or, but just not really paying attention to in my life. I now see how things really are. I mean, and it can't be denied, like I said. Um, I don't think about him or his family anymore only from this perspective of I'm glad I don't want to deal with that shit anymore um I someone called today it was when I was making my other video about um I guess the stove over at the house where Joel's staying is um not working at the moment so you know, Joel never picks up his phone, ever. So they called me, because I guess I'm the point of contact, right? So I, I kind of handled it, but I was thinking that, um, um, that, um, that, where was I going with this thought? I, I guess what I was thinking was, is that, you know, um, when people get involved in issues that really don't concern them, they, number one, it was, it was not, it was inappropriate for them to jump in on it. But the propaganda behind it, which is what relates to the psych psychobabble, is what <clears throat> made people go just batshit crazy, you know? Um, I don't want to talk about religion anymore. I mean, I really don't. I mean, I'm done with that that top topic, as well as this, the topic of racism. I find it almost boring at this point. I mean, when I think about who people are and the arrogance that they have walking around in their head, 
It literally bores me half to death. But I haven't really... Oh, I haven't given any thought to him, his family. Um, really, I haven't even thought about my family in the last um, few days. I've just been thinking about mostly my art projects and some of the certain things that I want to do, you know, as far as activism is concerned. And I'm very going to be very, very active in my pursuit of this issue. Regardless, if somebody dropped a million dollars in my my lap right now, I would still be involved in this issue because I believe in this issue. This is a very important issue. And for people who can't understand it, um, I, I don't know what to say to them. They're either ignorant or they're just evil, plain and simple. Um, this could happen to anyone. Let me paint this scenario. How about you have your daughter and she's going to college, okay? And there's another girl, she's going to college too, right? And this one girl is envious or competitive against your daughter, okay? And so she's got all these social connections, you know, and your daughter's just basically going to school, coming home. She might work a part-time job. She's minding her own business. She's doing her own thing, right? And so this other girl says, you know, hey, I'm going to call up a couple of agencies and, and then I'm also going to put a bunch of shit on Facebook and I'm going to spread all this shit around. So by the time she gets done, she's not going to be able to get a job. You know what I mean? And I'm going to sit here and, and throw a bunch of bullshit in on top of it. Okay? I will tell you that it will affect your life. Okay? And this kind of stuff is going on so much. You know? And so why is it that people aren't taking an interest in this, this topic? And they should. You know? I don't care if it sounds boring. I don't care if it's repetitive, redundant, whatever. You know what I mean? When you experience this sort of trauma in your life, you only feel compelled to speak out about it. So now I look at myself as an activist, you know, and I'm not the kind of person who's like in your face with it. it it's basically, you know, contained within my um, videos is basically what it is, okay? But, you know, if people come up and ask me, I'm going to talk about it. You know, if somebody mentions it, I'm going to talk about it, you know, um, in person, mind you. But I do think that, um, you know... It's unfortunate that people can't see what this is, okay? And it, it's, um, it is, it's the new Holocaust is basically what it is. And, um, <laughs> you know, um, I wish that there was more professionalism, you know, in, in, in the workplace. I really do. I wish there were. And I wish that people would actually um, be in positions, with pe the people who are right for certain positions would be in the right position. That's what I'm saying. You know, I've seen too much uh, what I consider to be half-assed professionalism for people who really don't know what the hell they're doing and somehow they end up getting jobs all because they're a part of a social network that is based on corruption. You know what I mean? What do you do about that? You know what I mean? How do you get people to understand and care about that? How do you get people to care about having quality people? I, I, I have no idea. You know what I mean? It doesn't make sense to me. So, I haven't, um, and so, like, when I talk about activism, you know, I'm not directing it towards Joel's family. I'm not directing to my blood relations. I'm basically talking as in general as a whole. I do know that, you know, um, I noticed today or I actually noticed like my, my number account goes up and down, you know, and it's like, it's really difficult for me to, I don't really give a shit about my number count because obviously when you have someone like myself, you're going to get censored to a certain degree. Okay. I personally believe that, um, there's a form of censorship that goes on in uh, on YouTube, especially when you have something as scandalous as what has occurred, and it is a scandal. It's a huge scandal. And it also, like I said, just like if I was to write that book that would get banned, this sort of thing deserves a kind of a level of censorship because people don't want to talk about it. It's one of those things that's in your face and you can't deny it. You know what I mean? So it's one of those things that people don't want to talk about. It's an uncomfortable topic because it exposes racism that obviously exists. It exposes Christian denominations or I would say cults, basically. Um, it says a lot. It speaks volumes, okay? So this is not the sort of thing that people want in wide circulation. So when I 
notice that I got a, 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 somebody unsubscribed today. I kind of chuckled to myself because I knew that was going to happen. Um, anytime you bring up the issue of race and it makes people uncomfortable, and it does make people uncomfortable, and believe me, I'm not the kind of person who likes to make people feel uncomfortable, but I will speak the truth when I have to. You know? And I will do it without batting an eye. I don't have an issue with it. You know? And I think that's one thing that makes people uncomfortable about me because I will confront it. You know? Regardless. And I don't, I don't value the opinions of other people um, to where it's going to stop me from doing it. You know what I mean? Because when you infringe on my rights, then I have every right to speak out. And I will speak out regardless. You know? Um, yeah. You know, I, I have seen way too much. You know? And, um, yeah, it changes you. It does. It changes me. It changes my perspective. But in a way, I think it's kind of good, though, because, um, you know, um, if anybody should be an activist, it should be me. I should be an activist, you know. Um, I've always been outspoken. I've always been the kind of person who always stood up for myself. I've always been more um, um, unafraid to approach certain issues. I don't have a, an issue talking about anything, really. I don't. Um, but, of course, I realize that you have to have an audience that's, um, what do you call it, a certain, certain level of maturity or people who are, um, I don't know, um, able to to digest certain messages, okay, without getting hot under the collar, without trying to, you know, raise hell or whatever, you know, some people, it's like I said, it's very difficult for some people to face truth or something that is true, you know, that can't be disputed, you know, and I, I'm, you know, I, I prefer to be a very peaceful person and my activism is extremely important to me, extremely, and I want to get more structured with it, I want to be more, um, involved, you know, when it, when it comes to targeted individuals and um, trying to find solutions or trying to figure out how I can help other people because um, this is wrong. This is wrong, you know, and whether this gets rectified for everyone else or not, you know, I'm not, I'm never going to stop talking about it. You know, nothing is ever going to make me stop talking about it, caring about it and wanting this sort of thing to change, you know. Because it is a truly an evil, evil thing that is going on on this planet. And, you know, my biggest mistake, <laughs> I was thinking today, you know, I guess I'm famous to a certain degree. Mind you, I never wanted to be famous, okay? And I, I never appeared in any movies. I never recorded any albums. My biggest issue was I put my face on Facebook back in 2008. My biggest mistake, okay? Um, and then a bunch of bullshit gets started basically, you know, and a bunch of drama, a bunch of lies, and then all this other bullshit, and then the next thing you know, through all these years, I had no idea what was going on, you know what I mean, and I'm not trying to discourage people from Facebook, I mean, I'm on Facebook, I get on, I get off every once in a while, and I, I question myself, like, okay, I, you know, I try to have more, I don't know, I try to focus more on, like, you know, targeted individuals, and I also have a couple of groups that I belong in, some people invite me into their groups, and I'm like, okay, why did you invite me into this group? I have nothing to do with this, you know, but whatever. Um, but I, I try to get more involved in, like, the art-type groups. Um, it's just something to do, okay? But people need to understand, you know, when things are starting to go wrong or something's going wonky, you might be able to trace it back to Facebook. You know what I mean? Because Facebook is an open forum. You know, it's almost like you're asking for it if you're on Facebook, you know? And I hate to put Facebook down because, you know, in some ways it's a great thing. You know, I remember back in the day, you know, having pen pals, <laughs> having pen pals, you know what I mean? Writing letters the old-fashioned way and mailing them and getting them back, you know? And so now when you think about how you can just send off a, a message, you can communicate with people, you know, so, so quickly, you know? It is kind of nice to do that, you know. That would have been nice instead of me waiting two weeks, three weeks. Sometimes I wait a month until I got a letter back from my pen pal when I was growing up, you know. And now we have, like, Facebook. And it is, it's a, it's a nice change. But at the same time, it's a, it's a breeding ground for gossip and people, you know, creating conspiracies and, and getting together and ganging up on people, you know, which is something I'm not particularly fond of, and I never, ever want to do that. 
I would never, I wouldn't care, like, you know, the kind of friends that most people are content to have, I, 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 I wouldn't have them in a million years. I wouldn't have the gossiping, the backbiting, the plotting. I, I don't want that in my life, you know. I, I, I'm very sure of what I want in life, okay. Number one, I want sincerity in my relationships. Number two, I don't want bullshit religion bullshit bullshit religion okay i want spirituality i want truth in my life okay i don't want bullshit i don't want um people in, inflicting their personal opinions on me i don't want to deal with ignorant people i don't i mean to me ignorance that, that's the worst thing you could ever be in this world is being ignorant you know what i mean somebody who walks around and and believes in their bullshit and doesn't verify anything don't want it i don't want that you know, I don't want people in my life who, who, um, who need support. You know, I don't want weak people. I don't like weakness. I don't like it at all. You know? So, I, I'm not the kind of person that goes in for all of that. And there's nothing anybody can do to change my mind on that. Because to, to, to be anything like what these people are like is taking too many steps back. You know? Anyway, so I've been yapping for like 16 minutes and I'm getting tired. I'm running out of breath here. So, you know, I'm an activist and, you know, um, an activist. Yeah, Maria the activist. No, I'm not the Angela Davis kind, you know, but I guess in some ways I'm not afraid to talk about those issues, mind you, you know. And I think I, I talk about them in a very, um, in a way that shouldn't offend anybody. You know what I mean? I just basically state the truth. You know, and I state it directly, and I don't have a problem with that, you know. And, um, you know, when, when you deal with people that are ignorant and that ignorant, you don't have a problem standing in front of them and addressing each and every one of them. That wouldn't sweat me at all. I wouldn't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with it. Why? Because I don't value people like that. To me, they're the worst scums of the earth. They are the lowest form of human existence. Okay? And so, and like, unless, of course, you know, there are certain people that I feel kind of intimidated by because it's like, wow, you know, I, I, I place them on a pedestal for whatever reason. You know what I mean? Whether that be because they're intellectually superior or maybe they've, you know, created something phenomenal or whatever. But when I encounter the people that I had to deal with in this particular situation... They're no different than a dry rotting piece of shit to me. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't, I don't, ha I don't value you. You know what I mean? If you drop dead in front of my face, good, good riddance to you. You have no purpose in life other than to create chaos. You know? Hey, I would just tell it like it is. I'm gonna wrap up this video. Hey, for everyone, have a wonderful evening. Be back with another one later.